Good morning, all you mini people. It's Pastor Matt. We're excited about Fuse Online. We're gonna sing, we're gonna dance, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna learn. So get ready, let's go! Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Phil. Welcome to Fuse Kids Online. It's been an incredible month here so far, discovering God's creativity and seeing how He made us to be creative too. Let's review our life app together. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. It's pretty great to know that we're made in God's image because, well, God is great. And one way we can clearly see God's greatness is in His creation. He's made some pretty amazing things. Take salt, for example. You probably don't think much about this simple ingredient that you sprinkle on your eggs in the morning or on your popcorn at night, but salt plays a huge role in the natural world. Have you ever seen the salt flats? Now, that might look like sand, but it's actually salt. Salt flats are created when lakes in the desert dry up. Or how about the Dead Sea? The extreme salt has caused some really amazing salt formations in this area of the world, which is actually near where Jesus lived when He was here on this earth. Not only that, but there's also so much salt in this particular sea that it's impossible for people to sink in the water. That's crazy, right? Of course, other than all those really cool things salt can do, let's be honest, it just tastes really good. There's nothing better than pretzels loaded up with salt. Yum! So, why so much talk about salt this morning? Well, stay tuned and you're going to find out. Now, let's spring to our feet and sing about our wonderful Creator. I will sing it out, shout it loud, my God is 
Pastor Matt here. Let's gear up for our Bible story by reviewing our monthly verse. Now, do you remember where it's found? That's right. Our memory verse for this month is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 3. Let's say it together. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Great job! See, God made you in His image. He made you good at something. So whatever your gift is, or your talent, use it well. Give it everything you've got. That's a great way that you can honor God. See, God made us to share His story with our words and our actions in all kinds of creative ways. He wants everyone to know the amazing story of how much He loves us. So much that He sent His own Son, Jesus, to be our Savior. It's the greatest story ever, and He created us to share it. Now, let's grab our Bibles and find today's story. Today's story comes from the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew is found in the New Testament. We find the table of contents, we look at New Testament, and then there's Matthew. What a great name. Now, we turn to Matthew, and we look at Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 through 16. Here it is. Found it. Now, let's settle in and listen to the story about salt and light. I know. Sounds strange. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits, you know. The cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. 
That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted, trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus, by showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm gonna put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. There is no limit to God's creativity. The same God who made the sun and the stars and everything we see in the entire universe also made you. He made you in His image. And He made you for a reason to have a relationship with you. He wants to know you and for you to know Him. And He feels that way about everyone. He made everyone and He wants a relationship with everyone. Remember, God created everything. There was darkness and then He created light. Just like the stars point to a creator, your life can point others to God's story too. You can show what a difference God has made in your life by the way you act each day. You can act in a way that, well, shines His light by sharing His love with others. And if they wonder where that kindness and goodness come from, you can tell them that everything good and creative in you comes from God. God created you to share His story. Think about it. What does it look like for you to be salt and light? Remember, we show God's love with our actions, not just our words. And there's no limit to the ways you can share His love with others. You can use the creativity God gave you to love others and give them a glimpse of how good He is. Maybe you can invite a friend to church, or you could share a bag of pretzels. Thanks, Pastor Phil. And tell them what we talked about in today's story. Maybe you could even ask someone how you can pray for them. There are limitless ways to share God's story and shine His light. Now, let's talk to God and ask Him to help us do that. Dear God, thank you for creating everything we can see. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for creating everyone that's watching this at home. I know you created us to know you and you want the same thing for everyone in our lives. Everyone will ever meet. You want all of us to understand how much you love us. Help us to use your creativity to shine our light for you as we share your story. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Now, let's get back to our feet for our monthly theme song called Beautiful while I eat this cookie that Robert and Keisha made. Mm. <laughs> Spinning. You made the ocean and everything in it 
Mrs. Clark here. Let's review the Life app one more time. Say it with me. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. Now, let's take a look at the photos you sent in showing your creativity. wrap our month focused on creativity. Remember to follow up on today's Bible story and bottom line by completing your daily devotions or God times. God times are a way for you to connect with God by reading His Word. The downloadable document is located at our LifePoint website, so jump on over and get it today. And as we close, remember this, God created you to share His story. So get out there and be the salt and light. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I wanted to share a secret with you. Next week we start a whole new theme, and it's called Block Party! Make sure you invite your friends because everyone is invited to join us online. See you here next Sunday at 9.30. Oh, hey, you're still here. I'm just finishing off the pretzels. Yeah, I, I finished my cookie already, so now I'm going to eat the pretzels. I bet you you're hungry. I, I'd offer you one, but it won't work that well. You know what you could do? We have 10 minutes before the service starts. So go wake up mom and dad and let them know that you want waffles and pancakes and sausage with lots of syrup and whipped cream, gluten-free of course. Uh, strawberries and blueberries and peaches with little chocolate sprinkles all over it. Yeah, that would be great. So you've got 10 minutes, have your parents make you breakfast, and then we'll start the service. Yeah, you can tell them Pastor Matt said. Hey everyone, it's Pastor Phil. Welcome to Kaylee. Wow. You've got 10 minutes and go. Oh. Creativity. That they, that, okay, well I messed that up, great. Okay, okay. Heather Holmes paints and creates mixed media art. Oh, hey, yeah, I'm just been... Perfect. You just said I... Hey, shh, shh, take, here we go. 
Hey everyone, and welcome to Fuse Kids Online. I'm going to down to find the, look of the, find the book of Matthew. This time I messed up literally right here. It's pretty great to know that we're made in God's image because, well, God is great. That was terrible. Let's do that again because we can't talk, apparently. We've had an incredible month, credible. You got me all flustered now. Hi, it's Pastor Phil from Life Point. No, here we go. So can I like lean forward to look at it? Find chapter 5, verse 13. Yeah, voila! Perfect. Okay. See you later. Okay, let me get